Today, we're diving deep into the revelations of legendary investor, Seth Klarman. You might not have heard much from him recently, but he's broken his 12-year silence to share some secrets about outperforming the market and what he thinks about investing in 2023. First things first, let's talk about Seth Klarman's incredible track record. Over the last 30 years, he's averaged an astonishing 20% annual return on his investments. To put that into perspective, even the legendary Warren Buffett has praised Klarman and said he's one of the very few investors he trusts with his own money. High praise, indeed. Seth Klarman is known for being incredibly private life. In fact, he rarely ever gives interviews and prefers to keep a low profile. Imagine going 12 years without a media interview, but lucky for us, he recently decided to break his silence and share his thoughts on the current market, the future of the economy, and where he sees opportunities for making money in stocks. Now let's get to the heart of the matter. In his recent interview, Klarman was asked a crucial question. Do you think that opportunity that you had in 1979 still exists in 2023? If he were a young graduate entering the investment world today, would the same opportunities that he had in 1979 still exist in 2023? It's a question that concerns many young investors, especially those from Gen Z, who are looking for opportunities in today's market. Klarman responded thoughtfully. He acknowledged that markets can become more efficient over time, but he also raised an intriguing point. When markets become more efficient, there's a possibility that they could become less efficient in certain aspects later on. He mentioned a growing short-term orientation in the markets, hinting that this might have led to some pricing inefficiencies. Seth Klarman's insights are truly eye-opening. He points out the roller coaster ride that Metastock has been on in recent years. It's fascinating how a company as large and well-established as Meta can experience such wild swings in its stock price falling to under $100, and then surging to almost $300, all within months. Now let's focus on Klarman's advice for young, aspiring investors. If a young person were to approach him seeking guidance on where to potentially build their career, he would encourage them to seek out the most inefficient pockets in the world of finance. This makes a lot of sense because, as he mentioned earlier, market inefficiencies can lead to investment opportunities. Klarman also stresses the importance of mentorship. He acknowledges that most people aren't ready to dive headfirst into the world of investing right out of school. Getting guidance and mentorship from seasoned professionals can be invaluable for young investors looking to navigate the complex world of finance. He further advises young investors to consider their interests and where they might have a unique edge. For instance, if you're from a different country, you might have valuable contacts and insights into that country's business culture. In other words, go where you're naturally inclined and where you see interesting opportunities. One of the key advantages Klarman highlights for individual investors is what he calls time arbitrage. Wall Street tends to be overly focused on short-term results, creating opportunities for those who are willing to take a longer-term perspective. This mindset can lead to exploiting market inefficiencies, as not everyone is patient enough to wait for long-term gains. To illustrate his point, Klarman uses the example of Meta. He highlights that investors, who had the foresight to buy Meta shares at less than $20 a share in 2012 saw their investments soar to over $375 per share by September 2021. Seth Klarman's advice and insights are a treasure trove for young investors. Look for inefficiencies, seek mentorship, play to your strengths, and consider the long term. These principles, combined with astute stock picks, could lead to a successful investing career. Meta's incredible rise and fall provide a fascinating case study in the world of investing. At its peak, Meta was a darling of Wall Street with its brilliant business model. The company leveraged billions of users worldwide who willingly shared their content on Facebook, Instagram, and other platforms. Unlike traditional media companies that had to spend enormous sums creating content, Meta's users generated content without the need for payment. This unique advantage made Meta a cash-generating machine, 
pulling in nearly $40 billion in cold hard cash in 2021 alone. However, the stock market can be fickle, and Meta's fortunes took a dramatic turn for two primary reasons. Firstly, Mark Zuckerberg, the company's CEO, embarked on an aggressive investment in virtual reality and the metaverse, diverting funds away from immediate profits and focusing on long-term gains. Wall Street, often fixated on short-term results, didn't take kindly to this shift in strategy. Secondly, a seemingly unstoppable competitor, TikTok, entered the scene and rapidly threatened Meta's dominance in the social media industry. In just a few months, TikTok became a major player, putting pressure on Meta's stock value. These factors combined to send Meta's shares into a freefall, plummeting from their peak of $375 to as low as $90 in November 2022, marking an 80% decline. The stock became incredibly unpopular on Wall Street, leading professional investors to sell en masse, exacerbating the decline. However, here's where individual investors like you can find an edge. Unlike professional investors, who often face pressure to perform over short timeframes, individual investors can take a longer-term perspective. This allows you to weather the short-term market noise and focus on a stock's underlying fundamentals. Those who bought Meta when it was at its most unloved and cheapest have reaped substantial rewards, with the stock surging more than threefold from its lows in less than a year. This underscores the massive opportunity in investing in stocks that have fallen out of favor with Wall Street, precisely the inefficient markets Seth Klarman refers to. The challenge for individual investors, however, lies in sifting through the overwhelming amount of information available. Identifying these opportunities requires diligence, research, and the ability to ignore the short-term fluctuations that often distract professional investors. But as Meta's journey shows, the potential rewards can be substantial for those who are patient and focused on the long term. Seth Klarman's emphasis on the concept of important and knowable is indeed a critical principle in the world of investing. Let's break it down further. These are the factors that truly matter and can significantly influence the success and growth prospects of an investment. As Klarman pointed out, these include Number 1. Financial health. Understanding a company's financial stability and its ability to invest in future growth. Number 2. Industry prospects. Assessing the future potential of the industry in which the company operates. Number 3. Quality of management. Evaluating the competence of the company's leadership and its impact on shareholder value. Number four, interest rates. Recognizing the effect of interest rate changes on asset values. Number five, economic health. Considering the overall economic conditions that can affect a company's performance. All these factors are undeniably important and can significantly impact the outcome of an investment. The second aspect is the critical question of whether these factors are knowable, meaning they can be analyzed with a reasonable level of confidence. This is where investors must exercise diligence and judgment. For instance, the financial health of a company is typically knowable as financial statements and data are publicly available. You can assess a company's balance sheet, cash flow, and earnings to gauge its financial stability. On the other hand, the future prospects of an industry can vary. In the case of cryptocurrencies, the future is highly uncertain, making it less knowable. In contrast, industries with established trends, like the digital advertising industry, offer a more predictable outlook for investors. By focusing on factors that are both important and knowable, investors can make informed decisions that reduce uncertainty and enhance their ability to spot valuable opportunities while mitigating risks. It's a powerful framework for long-term success in the stock market. Evaluating the quality of a management team is indeed an important and relatively knowable aspect of investing. Warren Buffett's approach of assessing management by looking at their accomplishments relative to competitors and their capital allocation decisions over time provides a valuable framework for investors to gauge the competence of the leadership. As for the last two items on our list, predicting what will happen with interest rates and forecasting the future of the economy, 
they often defy accurate prediction. These factors are highly complex and influenced by numerous variables, making them difficult to foresee with certainty. As Seth Klarman wisely advises, it's generally more productive to focus on areas where you can make informed judgments and have a reasonable degree of confidence. The important and knowable principle is a valuable guide for investors. By concentrating on factors that meet both criteria, you can enhance your ability to make sound investment decisions, minimize uncertainty, and ultimately improve your portfolio's performance. That's it for now. And if you found this information useful, please consider subscribing to the channel. And do like and click on the bell icon for more content.